you know, Musa alayhi salam had a, had a difficult life. Uh, subhanAllah, he had many things that happened with him. He had a difficult childhood. He went through a lot in life and ultimately his ummah, his nation gave, gave him a very difficult time. And we know from the Prophet sallam, that Musa alayhi salam also had a tragic death in that he was unable to enter Jerusalem. He was unable to, unable to enter Al-Quds because of the disobedience of his people. And he died, you know, at, 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 a, at the side of a mountain uh, away from Al-Quds, just a stone's throw away from Jerusalem because he was forbidden. And so Musa Islam had to deal with many difficulties in life. Of course, he's one of Ulul Azmi and Rusul. He's one of the great messengers. He is a man who achieved much greatness. Most of, you know, he's the most frequently mentioned prophet in the Quran. But it was a difficult life for Musa alayhi salam. So the Prophet sallam, tells us about this really, really interesting conversation that Musa alayhi salam says to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, Ya Rabb, arina Adam alladhi akhrajana wa nafsahu min al-jannah. Musa Islam says, Oh Allah, show me Adam, show me Adam who caused himself and us to be expelled from Jannah. Meaning I want to I want to have an argument with Adam alayhi salam. I want to give Adam alayhi salam a piece of my mind for causing us all of this, you know, th this this hardship that we all had to suffer because Adam alayhi salam ate from that tree. فَأَرَاهُ اللَّهَ Adam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought Adam alayhi salam before Musa alayhi salam. And this is the first time that they're meeting, Adam and Moses. Now, Adam Islam already had seen the prophets and he saw his descendants when they were taken from his back. But this is the first time that they're having a conversation. Musa alayhi salam sees Adam alayhi salam and he says, Anta abuna Adam? Are you our father Adam? And Adam alayhi salam says, yes. Now listen to what Musa alayhi salam says to him. He doesn't mention any of the things that Adam alayhi salam had gone through. He doesn't ask him any questions that are, that are not related to the, his frustration, to situation. He says, Anta ladhi nafakhallahu fika. Are you the one who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala breathed into directly? Min ruhihi, from his own from his own spirit. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala breathed into you, your spirit. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you. And Allah taught you the names of all things. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the angels. Fasajadulak. And so they all prostrated towards you. So Musa starts to mention the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Upon Adam Islam. Are you that man that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created with his own hands that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala breathed into, that Allah taught the names, that Allah commanded the angels to make sujood to, that Allah gave Jannah and all that stuff? Adam Islam says, Naam, that's me. Musa alayhi salam says, Fama hamalaka ala an akhrajtana wa nafsaka min al jannah. So what caused you to ruin yourself, to cause yourself to be expelled and all of us from al jannah? You know, why did you, how could you possibly have messed it up when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you all of those things? So Adam alayhi salam says, Waman ant. And who are you? Musa alayhi salam says, Ana Musa, I am Musa alayhi salam. Adam says, Anta Nabiyu Bani Israel, are you the Prophet of Bani Israel? Alladhi kallamaka Allah min wara al hijab, the one who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke to from behind the veil. Lam yaja'al baynaka wa baynahu rasulan min khalqihi, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not place a messenger between himself and you, meaning in that instance. And Musa Islam says, yes. Now realize here, Adam is one who Allah, he's one of the few people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke to directly, right? And it's the greatest favor, or of the greatest favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon a prophet. Not all of the prophets had that, okay? So Adam alayhi salam knows what that's like and he knows that favor that Allah has bestowed upon Musa in making him Kalimullah, in making him as well a prophet and a messenger that Allah spoke to directly. And Musa alayhi salam has a greater fadl. He's, he's more virtuous than Adam alayhi salam. He is from Ulul Azmi min al-Rusul. He's from the five greatest messengers. So he holds a higher distinction than, than Adam alayhi salam. So Adam is not being disrespectful. He's saying, aren't you that prophet of Bani Israel? Aren't you the great Musa alayhi salam that Allah spoke to? So Musa alayhi salam says, yes. Adam alayhi salam says, أَفَمَا وَجَدْتَ أَنَّ ذَلِكَ كَانَ فِي كِتَابِ اللَّهِ Didn't you find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already decreed all of this, that Allah decreed that I would be created, and Allah decreed that I would come to the earth, and Allah decreed that we would be here. And Musa alayhi salam says, Naam, yes. Adam alayhi salam says, فَفِيمَا تَلُومُنِي فِي شَيْءٍ سَبَقَ مِنَ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى فِيهِ الْقَضَاءُ قَبْلِي So how can you possibly blame me for something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed before me? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam says, فَحَجَّ آدَمُ مُوسَى فَحَجَّ آدَمُ مُوسَى Adam won the argument, Adam won the argument. SubhanAllah, an argument between Adam 
and Musa alayhi salam and the Prophet sallallahu says Adam was right, Adam won the argument. Now here's the thing, was Adam alayhi salam trying to suggest in this argument that it's Allah's fault that he committed the sin, that he made that mistake? Or didn't we just learn that Adam alayhi salam said رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِنَّمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُونَنَا مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ That, oh Allah, we wronged ourselves. So how is it possible now that we have this 360 where Adam alayhi salam is, is telling uh, you know, Musa alayhi salam, or actually it's a 180, right? Adam alayhi salam is telling Musa alayhi salam that it's Allah's fault. It doesn't make sense, right? It just doesn't sit well. Here's the thing. Adam alayhi salam was not taking, was not deflecting the sin. He was not saying that Allah caused him to sin. But Adam alayhi salam was responding to Musa alayhi salam's claim that it's because of that sin that we all ended up on earth. That had you not done that, we would have never been on earth. I would have never had to deal with Bani Israel. I would have never had to deal with Fir'aun. I mean, that's a pretty serious claim. I would have never had to gone through all of this. We could have all been in Jannah from the start had it not been for your sin. And Adam alayhi salam is saying to Musa alayhi salam that no matter what I would have done, no matter what choices I would have made, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already decreed that you and I would be on this earth, we would all end up here, and there is nothing that you could have done about that because that was the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you can't blame me for that part. Fahajja Adam and Musa, and the Prophet says, Adam alayhi salam was right. That there is, no, and this once again goes against the doctrine of original sin, that we are not here because of Adam alayhi salam, we're here because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is, you know, because it would be unfair to suggest that we're being tested in the first place, because even if we're not bearing the sin of Adam alayhi salam, which is one aspect of original sin, but it would also be unfair to say that we're here and we're going through this dunya because of Adam alayhi salam. That's also an unfair notion. So instead, we are here because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed that we would be here. We each have our own relationship, our own unique set of circumstances with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah has certain expectations of each and every single one of us, just as He had a certain set of expectations for Adam and Musa and Muhammad. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send His peace and blessings upon them all. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gather us with them in the happy days of Al-Jannah. Allahumma ameen.